Yeah, me have to tune in like Robert Dobby in the land. Seeing butter music. Yeah, people. As I may tell you, say, sometimes we have all a reason and life does get put more link up or go on. Good morning to everybody. Because when I start calling out people name, everybody back with me. Everybody, good morning. See? We are talk about depression. We are talk about life. We are talk about acceptance. A lot of us now accept certain things. I could continue for acceptance. See? I could continue for acceptance. Remember, nothing is in season for long. Everything has a season. Mango have a season. When mango season, you don't see Nisberry. When mango season, you don't see Stangerine. Because them say you have Stangerine and you have Mandarine. Because I guess you have the little one and you have the big one. Right? You don't see all of these people. So everybody have them time. Everybody have them time. Alright. At one point... I was the most talked about selector in Jamaica. At one point, I was the most talked about selector in Jamaica. Everybody, rich feelings, rich feelings, but they're everywhere. Remember that a 10 year ago, yeah, pretty Barbie. I don't know what I'm coming with that. I don't know about no Zealand. I don't know what I'm coming with that. I don't know what I'm You see it? Remember, say, you have other youth now where them are talk about. People are so forgetful that they tend to forget that you are still in the game. Not because you're not at the forefront anymore. That no means say you're done. That no means say you're mash up. That no means say what you do now have no more value. That no means say I dead you're dead. You're still maintaining. Enough people or enough other entertainers are afraid of walling acceptance. You have to accept, say, you get older and the generation changes. The generation changes. So you have other generation comes. You have the younger generation that comes. You're working in a company. And you're saying, oh, me there a long time. 30 years, me there at a place, you know, no, me not get. Them not, them not acknowledge me. Stop worry about acknowledgement. You're still at the company and you're working. Sometimes some people are comfortable staying one way. They don't believe in changes. You say change, or when you don't want to accept it, it will come. I'll show you a little synopsis again. A farmer without water. Don't you know the crop cannot grow? Without water, your crop cannot grow. But if you get too much water, it wash out your crop. So that's why them say one too much of one thing good for nothing. Remember, if you water the tree, the tree will grow, right? But if you put too much water, it wash away everything. It wash away everything. So everything will be a complaint. So everything has to be a balance. The water and the sun work on in and when it comes on to the farmer. Because all the cabbage are going to grow, all the pumpkin are going to grow, all the yam are going to grow, all the sweet sap are going to grow, all the pepper are going to grow. Remember, you know, if we get a storm, if we get a storm, Everybody crap wash out. You foul them we wash away. You cow them we wash away. You goat them we wash away. But just a little rain. Make you say yes. That little three day rain we get. We get three day rain and four day sun. That is a balance. So life is a balance. But enough people now deal with balance. They don't say alright. If you have a business. Everybody expect. Say every day is going to be a big seal day. You have to have days when you only sell one item. Some days you will sell off. You have to restock. 
While some days you won't sell nothing. All months you will not sell nothing. You barely make a rent. Don't you ever give up. Because you have to take the good with the bad. You have to take the good with the bad. And that mash up enough away in a life, you know. And that mash up enough away in a life. That mash up enough away in a life. Remember, nothing is life. Nothing in life no come easy. Some of you need it come easy to know, but people know when I talk when I say nothing in life is easy. You have to get up and go walk. Like even a restaurant. You think a restaurant just start and them food just tastes good every day. You know much chef enough of them have to change. You know much chef enough of them have to change. You have to take loses. You have to learn to take loses. Because a business, sometimes it takes two years to jump off. You have to pay out a pocket for, for maintain the business for two years. While you have some people business jump off the first time and then the loses them come. So that no when, when we start looking for life that way there with a balance. A balance we not look for life at you know. Like if you feel like say yeah, your, your relationship with your inner, if you feel like say every day you're your husband. I go live good, I am your baby father, I am your partner. I go just all right. And nothing I go wrong. And everything I go good. You make a sad mistake. You make a sad mistake. Sometimes, some argument one I go have. When you look back in yourself after the argument, you say, so, oh, the argument you come about. Look how we live good. Look how me and my woman live good. Me and my woman live so good. And oh, we are arguing now. And we, we love with one another. Why we are arguing? We don't for even argue. One simple word. Does make it's like we turn enemy. Miss White, good morning. Able boss. Big up yourself, able boss. Remember, you know. Me tell people this enough time. Everybody is on the earth for a purpose. Everyone is on this earth for a purpose. Everyone. But are you have to know your purpose. All of us is not going to play ball like Messi. All of us are not going to be like LeBron James. All of us could have never been like Chris Gale. All of us could have never been like Shaggy. All of us could have never been a Spice, a Shensi, a No. Everybody have to find them. You hear me say? Sometimes... We have to look at some different aspect of life. Not because Spice made it as an entertainer. She has 20 years under her belt. And got so much hungry and all of that. Not people don't want to see that part. They refuse to see the hungry part. No care how much you talk about the hungry part. Oh, she used to hungry and never have no shoes. And her father couldn't have it. And her mother couldn't have it. Nobody know want to hear about that. Everybody want to hear about Spice at Reggae Sunfest. Spice a lot down reggae sun fest and spice their Europe and spice and all of a sudden spice ray ray and spice that. I hear Cardi B say a thing. People must pray for have money but don't pray to be famous. Because it takes a lot to be famous. And I agree. When you're famous you don't have a life anymore. Your life is no longer private. You can't use any of the bathroom again. You can't just go any and anywhere with your children them again. Because every time people see you, they want a picture. A phone will be in your face. If they see you on a business partner, they will say that's your man. Everybody ever want to know who you're there with. Everybody ever want to know where you eat. Everybody want to know where you live. Everybody want to know where you shit. Everybody want to know everything about you. So when you become, when you become famous, your life change. It changed for the better. But it look worse. Because now you, you can't go to the store again without putting a pullover over your head. Without having security a try back off people from you. You gain some haters. Remember, say, people will love you and love you and love you and love you when them see you single. Them does not see you put up nobody and them love you. Love you to death. Oh, my man, that. Oh, you love rich feelings. And all of a sudden, them see rich feelings put up a woman and say, I'm a woman, this, you know. Oh my God! Richard Feelings betray me. I can't believe that bitch took my man. 
I will kill that bitch. That bitch has to die. And two to the woman where you put up, where you love, in a problem. She can't live a normal life again because of your woman now. Remember, I know, your woman now. You have to go get security. Your woman is a woman where she not busy about social media. You know business. And the woman live her life now as you put her up on social media. DM me. I don't know about that DM there. I don't see that DM there. I'm just look at me and see them DM there. So, I ran rich to get the DM. See, I just show you say, enough people don't want to accept. No want to accept. While you have some people, they accept. But they live in a denial. They accept and live in a denial. So, that's another thing. We accept and still living in denial. Denial is a rotted thing. Alright. A girl follow me. <clears throat> A girl I follow me now. And I follow her too. And she used to be with a man. She live a foreign now. The man live a Jamaica. Nine years she said. Nine years ago everything happened. And the man want papers. She said she now married him and get no papers. All of a sudden. The man pop up now in a 2022. Start make video and I say. Oh she this and she that and she a wicked girl and she everything. So now she says she'll tell for her truth. She starts say, Jamaican man, when nothing married them and bring them come a foreign. Don't do this, don't do that. Jamaican man are wicked. Jamaican man are that. Jamaican re 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 re. Everybody knows that once you put up, said Jamaican man, it have a rough with some feathers. Because I know everybody at Jamaica stay like that. But true, you got stereotype and say Jamaican man. So some man take it up on them and they kill her. They say, I choose she can't get no man and no man no want her. They deal with her wicked. So it's like every day she come out and she answer them, answer them, answer them, answer them, answer them, answer them, answer them. She answer them every day. Sometimes we say the truth, the truth will become an offense. But when we attack some things more time, we have to put a difference in the sentence. Like for instance saying some Jamaican men, not all Jamaican men are like this. You have some Jamaican men. When you do that, people will look upon it different. You see, with society where we are living now, uh, it's a worldwide thing. Look back upon the world when we talk about you know, jealousy. Look upon the word acceptance. Look upon the word greed. Look upon the word envy. Look upon the word ignorance. All those words that I just mentioned, those words are some words where once you look them up, you will analyze life and, and see life a different way. I see a new trend going on now. And remember again, when me talk is what I see. I mean, I come to disrespect nobody. I just come to talk when I see. And just know, say, as a nation, once we pass 40 or 35 or 30, we have to just remember, say, we did have some life where we did love. And the life where we all see now out there, either you join it or you leave it alone. I see a new trend now where them have insure a party. Where a man have insure in front and the young girl, them have drink the insure like a, a body juice. You know? Like a cum. And them have it and a drink and a go on. And the last time I purchased an insure, the insure was three hundred dollars for it. I think it was three hundred. I don't sure, but insure. 
It's not cheap. People are suffering. People are dead for hungry. And people are carrying ensure a dance now. People are carrying ensure a dance now. People are carrying ensure a dance now. So, when me a look at me a talk, I me a say, Jaja, what this? What is? See that? That's two girls using an ensure. That's why I tell you, say people, me not follow trend. Long gone were the days where females used to have respect for themselves. Nobody don't have to tell a female now, say, take off your clothes. Nobody don't have to tell a female now, say, go eat your friend front. Or go give a man some fellatio in a, a party. Somebody's there willing to do it. And then the girl has sucked the back, laugh the back down in her throat. She and member. She do that because she want to eat. Again, when you reach a certain age in life, just look back on the life where they have and say, Father, I live a good life. Because the things that they are seeing now, the naked eye seen so much things that's... It is okay to come off of social media for a while. It is okay for us to find one with yourself. Do some meditation. You understand? And again, I know a lot of times you will be on some sites and you see some things, some stupid comments and you want to comment. Sometimes it's best to just don't comment. Keep your fingers because you're going to be arguing for the whole day. And then you're going to get disrespect. You're going to do the right thing and say the right thing, but they don't want the right thing. Because them done broke one way already. Remember this. Fooling is easy for train. Fooling is easy for train. Easy, 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 easy. People like to laugh at fooling is. And. A lot of people. Will try to bully you on the internet. While you have some people, and them, them just live for disrespect you. Them disrespect anybody. Them not really, them are just that, them get a kick out of. You hear a man say, I just done the boy Richie Feelings a while ago. The boy I read, I say, which part you done Richie Feelings? Upon him page, man, go over them and the boy there, they chat a bag of thing, man, re, re, re. Him, they, some of them just jump on for your page and them don't know what the conversation about. Leave people alone, make them live them life. And him, they hear the conversation, you know. In the year the conversation. This is what we are dealing with today. So it's okay to cleanse yourself from social media. It's okay. I come on this morning and I have, a, have a conversation and we are talking about mental health. Depression in a little 10 year old, them now, the 9 year old, them, the 8 year old, them, the 6 year old, them now. Some people might ask, why is a 6 year old depressed? Why would a 7 year old girl be depressed? Why this 5 year old child is suffering from depression? A lady reached out to me the other day. She has a son that's 11. She has a son. That's 11. And the little boy tried to kill himself 
four times already. 11 years old, tried to kill himself. Him try to drown himself in a water. Him try to hang himself two times, among other things. When him tie the rope around him neck and try to jump over the place, the rope never tie good. 11 years old. A whole heap of times some people reach out to me and tell me some things. And she explained to me and I explained to me. He has a grandmother. He has a father. His mother is away. She went away to look a better life. She went away and she leave him with his grandmother. His father was overseas and his father tried to sue for disabilities like his father tell a lie about some accident and the people didn't believe him. And the father take it to heart because he ended up lose him work and lose everything. Till him end up and get deported to Jamaica. Because whosoever inform him of disability and how him can sue and get how much money. They didn't inform him on the outcome of how oh, sue go. Right? This little boy is 11. The grandmother trace him, tell him say she not love him, she hate him, she this, she that, she that. The father came back to Jamaica with a mental problem the little boy was so happy to see his father he went to the father the father be